can video games influence racial stereotypes? Saddle up, internet. We're going there. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and today we're talking about video games, specifically race and video games. A new study in the journal Social, Psychological, and Personality Science shows that playing as a black character in violent video games perpetuates negative stereotypes about blacks being violent, and it can lead to increased personal aggression after playing. This is the first study effectively linking avatar race and video games to aggression, and it has serious implications about the impact that violent video games can have on racial stereotypes. In the first part of the study, 126 white college students were asked to play Saints Row 2, a notoriously violent video game, and were randomly assigned either a black or a white male avatar. They were then asked to complete one in-game task, either a violent one, like breaking out of prison, or a non-violent one, like getting to a chapel without hurting anyone. The study reveals that those who played violently as a black avatar showed stronger, explicit, and unconscious bias against blacks than those who committed the same violent act as a white avatar. This reinforces the idea that the media, including video games, can perpetuate stereotypes about blacks being violent. But what effect do those stereotypes actually have on us? Good question. In the second part of the study, 141 white college students were again randomly assigned either a black or white avatar and were asked to play one of two violent video games, either WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 or Fight Night Round 4. Video game names are ridiculous. Afterwards, participants completed a test designed to measure their implicit bias that blacks are violent. Turns out students who played as a black character were more likely to associate black faces with weapons than those who played a white character. Even more troubling, the study also found that students who played violent video games as a black character acted more aggressively after the game was turned off than those playing a white character. According to the researcher, statistical analysis of these experiments suggests that playing a violent video game as a black avatar strengthens a player's attitudes that blacks are violent, which then influences them to behave more aggressively. So what now? Should we just eliminate all black avatars from violent video games? Of course not, that's unrealistic, but we should probably stop painting them all as deviant mass murderers. Once the media representation of minorities changes, then public perception should theoretically follow. Until then, try playing some games with positive black characters, like the Walking Dead series or Assassin's Creed Liberation. If you know any other examples, leave them in the comments below or tweet at us at DNews. And for more gaming-related content, be sure to check out my other home at youtube.com slash Games.